Hello team and welcome to today's Excel video where I'll be sharing with you how to insert and use timeline slicers within your Excel pivot tables so that you can just click a date range that you're looking for and see the data updated in real time. Let's jump in. Before we begin, you do need to make sure the backend data you're using for your pivot table does have a date field so that we can insert the timeline slicer. Using my candy sales spreadsheet data, I created a basic pivot table showing the candy sold and the overall sum of profit. To insert the timeline slicer on the insert tab, click where it says timeline, and then click the checkbox for the timeline you'd like to add and click OK. From here, you can resize or reposition the timeline slicer as desired. You can also utilize the drop down here to change the timeframes you're looking at. For example, we could change from months to quarters. From here, it makes it really easy to change my view from Q4 of 2014 to Q3 of 2014 with just a click. And my data is updated. Team, I hope you enjoyed this tip today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered.